Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Cody and today we are starting a brand new Sims 4 series, Get to Work. I am excited about it. I know it's been a while since I've put anything out, but you know, I, I needed to collect myself, prepare myself to record. It just, it wasn't an easy time. And I was going to record yesterday, but, or the day before, or I was going to record earlier this week, but as I'm sure a lot of you know, shit happened. And that's why I decided today would be a good day to get back into things. So, we're starting a new series. This video is going to be about an hour long, because I'm sure we could all use a good distraction from yesterday. So, I have created three sims here, and we're going to try to have fun today with all, with all three of them, get into some shenanigans. So, without further ado, let me introduce you to them. This is Mason Leaks, and now I tried to mainly use items from Get to Work, since this is a Get to Work Let's Play. Or I get, yeah, um, this is a Get to Work series. I tried to mainly use items, hair, clothing, makeup, etc. from Strictly from Get to Work. So there's hardly any custom content on my Sims. It's a little weird. I'm not used to it. But we'll get through it. Oh, excuse me. Oh, pardon me. Um, now... <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, my sinuses have been acting up. I got shit in my throat. <laughs> oh, coffee will help take care of that. Alright, so, this is Mason. He, I'm not going to tell you what his career will be just yet. I'm not going to tell you that with any of our Sims. But he's kind of your typical hunky guy, you know, you know, eye candy for the ladies <laughs> or the and the men obviously because i think he is fine but anyway um so yeah this is him he's a hunk uh but i wanted to make him more than just a pretty boy so i gave him the renaissance sim aspiration which means he wants to learn a lot of shit because he's awesome like that he's outgoing a genius and a bro. I had to give him the bro trait. Because he, he is a bro. But he's very well put together as well. So, you know. Wanted to give him this nice little white suit. Just kind of casual but still dressed up. And he got the quick learner bonus trait. Then for his formal wear. We've got classic blue tux. I love this on him. It looks really good. And I never use facial hair on my Sims, on any of my Sims. So I wanted to put some on him. And I thought this was very clean, very structured. It really outlined his, or it really highlighted his jaw. I'm really happy with how he turned out. I'm happy with how all of my Sims turned out. Then we go into his athletic wear. And, you know, still a little... A little nice, but very casual and comfortable, too. Still a little more put together. Then we go to his sleepwear. Uh, he, this man is not afraid to wear pink. And it looks really good on him. I had to give him at least one shirtless option so we can look at this manly physique. Mm. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Couldn't help myself. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, then we get into his party wear, and these pants are to die. I love these pants. Oh my god, I love the texture on them. love the way they fit. They come in so many nice colors. But I kept it white for him, just because it looked better on him. And of course, what businessman would be, or business-looking man, he's not a businessman, um, would look, would be complete without a watch, and I felt like just giving him some flip-flops, you know, it's a party, you want to look nice, but you want to keep it casual at the same time, so, you know, he can take them off if he ever feels like it, 
But it's going to be awesome. But just look at these pants. Oh my god. I love them. And he gotta have a booty. All my sims gotta have a booty. Um, we don't do that no booty life in here. Uh, but anyway. And I love this vest too. I'm going on and on about these clothes. But I love them. And we didn't get any new swimwear with Get to Work. I know most of you probably know this. Because it's been out for like a year. But it's new to me. So that's why we're doing it. I just bought it recently, so I just gave him this little purple Speedo, which looks amazing on him. I couldn't think of the right word. And then, let's move on to Velix Arthas. Or, yeah, that's her name. Or Velix. No, it's Velix. It's Velix. She is an alien. She is... I forgot his name. Mason. Mason's roommate and best friend uh i've got a little backstory for all three sims because i've been trying to get more invested in my sims lives but just look at her and all her glory this is what she will look like when she's not disguised i'll show you her disguise once we get in game or actually i'll show it to you after i get done with cast or with the cast introductions so i gave velix the fabulously wealthy aspiration so she got business savvy the business savvy bonus trait with that she's hot-headed self-assured and ambitious now for aliens we just got these awesome body suits for their clothing i could have put her in like normal human clothing but i saved that for her disguise so here we go these are just we got two different variations, and they come in a variety of colors. So, you know, these don't really matter as much. Also, I, the reason I made her purple is because I never really see purple aliens in The Sims. Like, they're always blue, or... Actually, I've mostly just seen blue aliens, or the occasional green one. Oh, excuse me. Had to take drink more coffee so i wanted to give her more of a i wanted to give her make her purple let me just switch mason back into his everyday wear even though i'm sure some of us don't mind looking at that mm -hmm. all right and let's move on to mira leaks this is mason's wife and actually um and also rather she is Velix's twin sister. Yeah, they don't look alike. Uh, Velix took more after their mother, and Mira took more after their father. Or maybe it was the other way around. I can't remember. But they are twins, and they're amazing, and I love them. So I made M Mira. Oh my god, I'm going to get them confused. I'm going to fuck up these names. I apologize in advance for that. But I made Mira a white alien because, again, that's not something I see very often in The Sims. So, and I love the eyes that we got with the aliens. Here, I'll show... In case... Oh, I can't because I'm not in full cast. I just did testing cheats. I can't show you the eyes, but they're all amazing for aliens, and I love them. So, these are the Sims we're going to be playing with. I gave Mira the nerd brain aspiration, so she also got quick learner, like Mason. She is a bookworm, a genius, and a perfectionist. Now, just by going over their traits, you can probably tell which Sims are going to have which career. Excuse me. But, in, in case you couldn't, don't worry. I haven't gotten them their careers yet. I've been busy creating a ton of Sims to fill the town. So, we'll get into that in just a moment. But, while we go through this loading screen, it probably won't take long, but it might take a while. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the backstory. Basically, Mira and Velix all, um, went to college together here on Earth. Um, their parents really wanted them to fit into human society while still retaining their alien culture. So they decided to go to college here in one of the Sims cities. And there they met 
Mason while they were all in school together. And the three of them really hit it off. Like, they all became really good friends. They got along really well. And eventually that friendship between Mason and Mira blossomed into more of a love. And Velix was a little, like, kind of eh about the whole thing at first. But she supported her sister's decision. She wanted her to be happy and be with the person she loved. So, you know... She's happy for them. She really is. She loves her sister a lot. So now they're all living together. They're all going to get started on their careers in life. And it's going to be amazing. They're all going to have a fun time. So let me show you Velix's disguise really quick. And then I'll move into Mira's. Oh... I am really happy with how their disguises turned out. Like, I can't, I can't tell y'all how happy I am. Alright, so. Oh my god, y'all, I'm so excited for this series. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have a lot of fun. I don't even have a thumbnail made for this yet. So, I'll have to do that later. But I wanted to go ahead and get this video up. So, here is... Velix. Now, I gave her darker skin because I never, again, I never really see that with alien disguises. And uh, let me show you because, oh, I can just go here. I gave her some tattoos as well. Um, I also gave Mira some tattoos, but I really wanted to give them the tattoos that came with Get to Work because they really kind of hint at their alien nature while still being like, you know, oh, these girls have awesome tattoos. So that's why I did that. I am really happy with these. They came in a few different colors, but I really liked the pink and purple-ish ones, even though that one is really striking in her on her skin. Oh, excuse me. Like, I love it. But because she is a purple alien, I wanted to give her... Oh, excuse me, guys. I am sorry about that. That was disgusting. That was a gross burp. Um, but I wanted to give her these kind of... This kind of reddish pink ones because she's a purple alien. And that's also why I gave her this necklace right here. Because this also came with Get to Work. And I really... Again, wanted to hint at her alien nature. So, Velix is a very classy, very well put together, kind of business-like sim. She's all about business, and, you know, she sh goes after what she wants. She's not afraid to be that strong, powerful woman. And, again, I used all makeup from Get to Work. I'm really happy with it. I wanted to give her more of a subtle but powerful look with her makeup. So, let's move on to her formal wear. I don't think this came with Get to Work, actually. Let me look. No, this dress is custom content. Which I'm okay with. I like it. I actually think I was going to change it, but I might have changed... No, no, I used that in one of her other looks. I'm sorry, I just smacked my mic. But yeah, this dress is custom content, as are the heels. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. Talking a million miles a minute. That didn't make any sense, but I said it. Deal with it. But yeah, and I wanted to give her... This necklace came with Get to Work. I love it. And very striking but po and powerful makeup. Like, just to show that she commands the room. And we didn't really get a, any athletic wear that went with her personality. Like, we got some, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like, all we got with this, was this hoodie, which I didn't really like on her. Plus, I wanted something that showed off her tattoos. So, you know, again, custom content, base game. Very casual, but still powerful. I'm really happy with how that turned out. 
Then her sleepwear, you know, just basic base game stuff. Then, yeah, here it is. This is this little jumpsuit, I think, that came with Get to Work, along with these shoes. And again, really striking, powerful makeup. I love that eyeshadow. Oh my god. Oh, and these are some new eyes I got, too. I didn't use them on Mason, because I didn't like the way they looked on him. But for... Velix and Mira. I forgot their names. That's really disappointing. Um, I gave them these new eyes I got. They are amazing. Let me show them to you really quick because all my eyes are under makeup. You can really, like, it really fit them being aliens, but they come in a lot of colors. And I, they look so real. It's kind of unsettling. That's why I didn't really like it on humans, like on human sims, but on them, they look fabulous. So, then we go into her swimwear, and this is a custom swimsuit that I adore. Oh my god, it is fabulous. So anyway, that's Velix. Strong, confident, powerful woman. Uh, who's not afraid to show emotion, so don't worry about that. We're not going to stick to that trope where, you know, the strong, confident woman keeps everything to herself. No, she's not like that. That is overplayed, in my opinion. It works to an extent, but it's way overplayed. It really is. Because sometimes it doesn't matter how confident you are in yourself and how you know, strong and stable you are. You've got to talk about your feelings, y'all. You, It really helps. It helps ev just about everyone. Not everyone is comfortable doing it, and that's okay. I'm not one to talk about my feelings that much. But if you can, it really does help you work through your issues. So please don't keep that stuff bottled up. Get it out in a healthy manner. And then, oh, let me tell Velix to disguise herself, just so no one comes by and is like, ah, an alien! And then, let's go into Mira. I don't know what that voice was, but it happened, so we're just going to deal with it. All right, come on. Why is it not going? Mira, are you okay? Thank you. And then after this, I'll jump. I'll show you guys the house really quick. I just downloaded it from the gallery. I updated a few things. That's why we're broke. But, um... Oh, excuse me. I am burpy today. Sorry about that, y'all. But yeah, I updated, updated a few things in the house. So... I'll show it to you when we're done. Now, Mira, I'll show you her tattoos. Mira is more of the boho chic girl. And I really wanted to give her like wild and crazy and colorful makeup. So I'm like, as you can see here, girl is out of control. And again, I use everything that I could from get to work. So let me show you her tattoos really quick. I gave them both two tattoos. You can't really see this one through the necklace, but... Oh, shit, it went away. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. Alright, so I gave her this chest tattoo. It looks very futuristic and very techy, which I love. And then we move on to this... Very alien tattoo in the back. They didn't really have anything lighter than the blue. Well, they had this blue, but I didn't like it. I liked it that they both matched. Because I don't think this one came in. No, it did. But I didn't really like the way this color looked on her. See, it's the blue and the green. Yeah, I just like the solid dark blue. Or darker blues on her. It shows up better on her skin. 
but I am really happy with these. I love them, and you can really see them in her outfits, at least in this one. Like, you can't see it all, but you know it's there, and that's what's amazing. And I love these shorts and this top. I don't, I'm not convinced they go together, but they work. Um, so, this is her everyday wear, very comfortable, but very hip, you know? Same thing with her, um, what is it? Formal wear, very casual, comfortable, but still formal. And, of course, pearl bracelet, and again, wild and crazy makeup. This eyeshadow that goes all the way to her hairline, and this blush that matches. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's fabulous. I would never put this on any other sim. Because I was looking through these makeup options like, what the hell am I going to use these for? And then I made her, and it was perfect. So let's move into her athletic wear. I used this. I even, She seemed like the type of girl who would wear makeup while she's out running or exercising. But nothing too crazy. And I gave her the white makeup. Again, to kind of hint that she's an alien. Um, you know, because her alien skin tone is white. So, nothing too crazy in the... Like, I mean, this is a little wild, but not as wild as her other makeups. As her other makeup looks. So, I gave her this little hoodie, or this little pullover. I don't know what you'd call this. Anyway, I love it. And just some crop jeans and, uh pair of running shoes, but I love this because look, it's got hearts on the cuffs. Oh my god, it's so cute! And then her sleepwear, just something a little playful and cute. I thought I gave her makeup to sleep in, but I might not have. Oh, and I used the same eyes that I used on Velux, but I made them purple. Like kind of a pinkish pale purple. That it looks great on her, and I don't know why I went with red hair, but I did. I love it. And then we go into her party wear, and we've got this adorable number. Oh my god. I love this top so much. I love these shorts with a passion, and these wedges are adorable. And this necklace is just to die for. And again, matching eyeshadow and blush she kind of looks like a zebra or not a zebra a giraffe she kind of looks like a giraffe but hey it's what she likes to do she likes to play around with makeup and of course this wild funky eyeliner i i never saw myself using these makeup options and here i am showing you a sim that uses most of them so then we go into her swimwear this cute fun, classy, custom content. I could not think of the words custom content. And again, just some light makeup. Again, I think that's just an eyeliner? No, that no, that's not an eyeliner. That's one of the eyeshadow options that goes like under her eye and over her eyebrows. It's really cool. It's nothing too wild and crazy because she is going swimming. And then this necklace, which also came from Get to Work. I gave her a lot of necklaces. Like this one here. I think almost all of her outfits have necklaces. But anyway. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. This is Mira. And she is our bright... Blah, blah, blah. She is our bright, playful, you know, casual, chic sister. And she is awesome, and I love her. So, anywho, with all of that being said, done, out of the way, let me drink some coffee. Ugh. And then once this loading screen is over, we will get down to business. I've spent about 30 minutes going over their outfits. I am sorry, y'all. Well, sorry, not sorry. I'm really not sorry about it, because y'all needed to see it. But... You know, I'll put some... <laughs> Never mind, I'm not going to do that. I figured 
you know, I'm just going to take my time with this episode because we could all use a good distraction. And this is a good way to distract ourselves. Having fun with the lives of virtual creations. So, we going to wait for this loading screen. Here we go. Now, let me tell Mira to disguise herself for the same reason I had Velix disguise herself. Because we don't want anyone coming by and be like, ah, aliens, oh my god. I don't know if you understood that. Oh, this, this is not okay. But we'll deal with it. Alright, so. Here's the house. It's very small, but very cute. I really love it. It wasn't too expensive, but it was kind of expensive. Excuse me. I had to actually cheat in some money so we could so I could upgrade their beds because they had those Mod Pod sleepers and I am adamantly against those things. I hate those beds with a passion because my Sims are always uncomfortable when they use them. So, I'm not going to tab. We can just look. So, we walk in. There's a little entryway. I had to put in a dining table. Nothing too fancy because there aren't that many of them. I plan on someone having a child at some point in the series. N not sure when, not sure who, but it will happen at some point. That's why, actually, I could just, let me do that really quick. I'm just going to take out this bedroom because it's a three-bedroom house with one bath. I am just going to take out the furniture in here since we don't have a child. Oh, I can just... There we go. I was going to leave it, but we don't need it right now. So we're just going to get rid of all that. And then, yeah. So you walk into the entrance. There's the dining table. And then you come over here. There's where that bedroom was. See, that gave us more money already. And there's actually a little nook right here, which does not have wall color. Oh my god. And actually, while I'm here, I'm going to fix the floor, because I don't like that different flooring right there. I think there was, like, a toy chest over here, but I got rid of it. I can't remember. So let me just do that. And then... Do that. There we go. Okay. I can't believe I never noticed that before. I haven't even looked at the build by... Um, or at the build mode things just yet. But their walls are pretty bare right now. That's okay. We can live with it. They've got really basic appliances. Oh my god, does this bedroom not have... Oh my god, this house is a mess. Wait, is this a lack of color? That's just drywall. Oh my god. Basic darks. Let's go with... Maybe this green? What's the bed look like? Oh yeah, this will work beautifully in here. And I saw something outside. Don't think I didn't see it. What the actual fuck is going on with the outside of this house? I... Do not like it. Basic darks with white trim. We gonna do that. We gonna do that. Holy mother of Jesus. I did not notice this before. Like, thank you to the creator of this house. You did an amazing job, but there are just some things I do not like. Yeah, I, th this needs to be a uniform color for me. Personal preference. Like I said, the creator of this house, I can't remember your name. I apologize. 
Oh, I didn't notice this little stone area in the back. That's cute. There was a tree here, but I got rid of it because we needed money. <clears throat> um, yeah, you did a great job, but I wasn't dealing with that. Uh-uh. And it looks like everything else is okay. So, we fixed the house. We fixed things I didn't notice. But yeah, here is this empty bedroom. Here is... Their dining, living room, kitchen. It's got a little bookshelf here. I enlarged the TV. And I... I think I... Oh, there wasn't a seating area over here, I don't think. I don't remember how this looked before, but I know I did something. Like, I put in a couch, at least, and I moved it forward. So, yeah. It's kind of basic. I love this blue hardwood, though. That's gorgeous. I mean, I wouldn't put it in my house, but I like it in here. And then, you know, this is Velix's bedroom, the one I just painted the walls in. I can't believe I didn't notice that the walls weren't painted. This will be Velix's bedroom. It's small. She's single. No big deal. I gave... I know I moved something in here. Um, I gave Mason and Mira this bigger bedroom just because you know they're they're the married couple it's their house this is more like a guest bedroom kind of thing but it's their bedroom it's their house maybe when we have a child i'll switch these two bedrooms but for right now this is just an empty room this is where velix lives or sleeps <clears throat> and then we come over here we and look at our basic ass kitchen it's not bad. It'll do for now. We'll be okay. And there's a little art easel out here. We're probably not going to use it that much, but we might. We might. Excuse me. I don't really see any of our Sims as the artsy type, though. Maybe for our child. Because I've said it a lot. Someone in this family, one of the three of you, maybe you two, maybe Velix will find a man... Or a woman, and they'll adopt. Who knows? I filled the town with so many Sims. Oh my god, y'all. I filled it with, like, you know, eight different families. Some of them are just single people. Some of them are full-on families with kids. Some of them are trans. Some of them are brother and sister. Some of them are sisters or, you know, brothers. Some of them are gay married couples and their roommates. I, I fill this fucking town to the brim. I think there's maybe three houses in Oasis Springs that aren't full. Or that don't have someone living in them. And maybe one in Willow Creek. But I made so many families just because I could. And I needed something to do. Um, so we're going to be seeing them around town. I made some aliens. I made some humans. I made a lot of Sims. And I can't wait for us to run into them. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm just really excited because I spent so much time on each and every Sim I made. Oh, what's he going to do? He's going to hold her hand. Oh... Y'all, I can't take it. Oh, never mind. So, anyway. Oh, and don't worry about the retail store. I've got plans for that. I've got plans for that. Oh, they're taking a picture together. But for right now, Mason is going to find a job. Hi, Beaker. Hi, baby. You're warm. You've been laying in the sun. Yeah. Cat came over to visit me, and her back is really warm. Alright, come on. Now, our career options for Get to Work, and it is our goal in this series to go through all of them and reach the highest level. That's why I created Three Sims, and... <clears throat> oh, sorry about that, y'all. <clears throat> Talking for this long is getting a bit difficult. Mm. But I don't care. I'm doing it for y'all. We're going to have fun. So, 
we have the detective career. Do you want to be the type of cop who's never really off duty? If so, this job's for you and we've got the rewards to support that unhealthy lifestyle. I love it. Unlock outfits like your police uniform to wear as pajamas. Teach your teen a valuable lesson for that C+, by dressing them in prisoner coveralls and transforming their bedroom into a virtual jail cell. Complete with prison bar walls and a decorative security camera. This is fantastic. As a bonus, you can keep an eye on them with your very own one-way mirror. Ooh. So, that is one of our career options. Not for Mason. He's not going to be the detective of the family. Doctor. Who doesn't want to be held responsible for another Sim's health, health and well-being? A doctor who can advance in the medical ranks will find themselves rewarded with, object, with objects like a standing surgical light and a full-size skeleton to brighten up the home nursery. Swear to God, we're getting that skeleton and we're putting it right next to a baby crib. It's fucking happening because I love the idea of that. <laughs> to make the deal extra sweet, you'll be able to unlock your very own hospital scrubs and patient gowns so you can play doctor at home. Ooh. <laughs> but, again, not for Mason. Mason is going to be our scientist. For one, I rarely see human scientists in these uh, Let's Plays, in the Get to Work Let's Plays. And for two, I rarely see male scientists in the Get to Work Let's Plays. Then again, I haven't watched that many, and I am all 100% here for women in the science career path in science career, scientific careers. Uh, you, you know what I mean. Women going into science and math and mathematics, things like that. 100% here for it. You go, girl. But I want to do something different than what I've personally seen. So, Mason, you are our scientist. Calling all brains. Are you the nerdy type who aspires to one day wear tin foil on your head and decorate your studio with huge bubbly tanks? A scientist who proves they've got the gray matter to change the world as we know it can unlock new outfits like the UFO Hunter or objects like a schwanky. I can't say swanky, it's schwanky. Chemistry lab for concocting new inventions and serums. Yes. Another part, another reason I gave Mason this job is because he's living with two aliens and he wants to understand their culture a lot more. And what better way to do that than by becoming a scientist? So you can study that shit all day. He wants to be able to relate to his wife a lot more, as well as his best friend. So, Mason, you're our scientist. Go for it, babe. Work in 22 hours. Awesome. Now, let's move on to Felix. Stop talking to your sister and your friend. Stop talking to them. I'm sorry, babe. So, you probably already guessed. Oh my god! Did she just analyze him? I think she analyzed him. Or something. Now, y'all probably guessed what Velix's career will be. She's going to be a detective. I never really see aliens going into the detective career, so that's what we're doing. I haven't decided if she's going to be a good cop or a bad cop. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but she is going to be a cop. <clears throat> And then, last but not least, Miss Mira, what are you, what are you doing? Don't scare your husband. Join a career. <clears throat> that leaves Mira to be our doctor. Again, never really see aliens go into the doctor career, and let alone female aliens. I never really see female Sims going being doctors either. So. That's what Mira's gonna do. She's gonna save lives, kick ass, and take names. 
not minus the kicking ass part because you shouldn't do that as a doctor so for her oh she starts working 19 hours we need to attend two active work days okay that's fine we need to do the same for Velix. So it looks like the only person we need to worry about is Mason. I forgot his name. See, who goes to work first? All right. It looks like we're going to be joining Mira later. If we have time, I might do another episode anyway, because this episode wasn't a lot of gameplay. So how does he have breakthroughs? <clears throat> Gardening, reading, or performing experiments. Luckily, we have us a bookshelf. So, why don't you read something, Mason? I'll check y'all's stats. He's alright. He'll have to pee soon. But he's alright. Then, Velix, what are you doing? All of you are okay. Oh, she wants to talk to him. Analyze his personality. Go for it. But, okay, Mason, honey, I really need you to read so you can get those breakthroughs. How did you dis just now discover she's an alien? You knew she was an alien. She is one of, she's been your friend since college. And now she's tense because he found her out. Oh no, low brain power. Stop distracting him, please. Come on. Mason, fucking grab a book. I hate Sims. I hate them so much. Because all they do is piss me off. Read a goddamn book. Is it seriously not going to let him read? It's not going to let him read. What the hell? My computer just beeped. I don't know what that was. My computer's beeping and I don't know what it is. I'm not too worried about it though. Never really done that before. Um, anyway. Uh, try moving it over here. Cloud Gaze Starter. Just look for Cloud Gaze Starter in the gallery and you'll find who made this house. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not going to let him read. What the hell? Why is it not letting him grab a book? Do I have to buy books? I don't think that's the case. Maybe if I put it in this little storage nook? I might- I wanted to- Whoa, that was trippy. I wanted to turn this into like a little reading nook, but we did- but I didn't have the money. <laughs> what the hell? Why is it not letting him read? Like, he's not getting up to go grab a book. What the hell? Let me open. Oh, there aren't any books in it. The fuck? I thought these always came with books. And it's not giving me the option to purchase books and we don't have a computer well fuck me gently with a chainsaw um okay that's okay we can figure something out all right i'm gonna i guess have him use the bathroom I don't know how we're going to get our breakthroughs, though, if he can't read. Because we don't have a garden. I mean, we could buy some seeds and start a garden. 
But I don't want to do that. I don't like gardening in this game. It's not fun. Oh, there's no sink in the bathroom, so he's going to have to use the kitchen sink. But that's okay. Ugh. This is really upsetting. Just channel surf, I guess. What's up with you? Go use the bathroom. I don't know who's going to cook. We might take turns with the cooking. I don't know. But the book thing really pisses me off. Why is it not letting me purchase books? I guess I'll just turn this into an office once we have more money. Right now you can go pee. I might turn this into an office for right now. Oh, it's Katrina, isn't it? Is that Katrina Caliente? It's not showing me. Yeah, it's Katrina. Why don't you, Velix, go invite her in? But that's really pissing me off. The book thing. Like, that's blowing my mind. What the hell? Maybe the bookshelf is just broken and I have to buy a new one? Let me let me try that. I know I'm, like, really focused on this fucking bookshelf, but it's really confusing to me. And I keep saying that, but goddamn. Sell for book bookshelves um let's see Let's just buy this one. Let's get it in black. Put it there. That didn't take too much of our money and it looks nice. So, talk to your guest, honey. Come on. I know you don't want to. Give her a friendly introduction. But Katrina's nice, from what I remember. There we go. Purchase books. I guess we couldn't do it with that bookshelf? I don't know. Is he watching sports? I think he's watching sports. But, okay, my game froze. That's, that's cool. Let's just buy a bunch of nonsense books. Not this one, that's $55. Uh, that'll work. And then... Put away... Put away... Put away... Put away. Stop watching TV. Yeah, he was watching sports. Go put your books away. Who's this? Alice Spencer Kim. Sorry, I stole your husband in a different game. Or in a different file. Huh. Which, by the way, guys, Legendary Legacy. I'll try to get to that either today or tomorrow. I had a video recorded, but I didn't like it. I wasn't happy with it. Um, in the next episode I record for it, I'll fill you in on what happened. It wasn't that impressive of an episode. I just wasn't happy with it at all. 
So, nothing major happened. But, like I said, I'll fill you in next time. I go in for that, for that Let's Play. But for now, let's try to get a breakthrough. Read Love in the Time of Sandwiches. I love that title. We're just going to fast forward a little bit. They're all talking. They're all, all the girls are talking. They're having a nice chat. Go on, introduce yourself. And then... Oh, and... Yeah, I dropped the sugar skull thing. I was not happy with it. At all. I wasn't enjoying the series. It was taking too long. I wasn't happy with it at all. It, I just didn't like it. What's this? What's this? You, you are home, sweetie. But while you're up, why don't you cook dinner? Oh, fuck. Excuse me. Let's serve some grilled cheese. Maybe our guests would like to stay and eat with us. I don't know. I like... Oh, good. He's had his first breakthrough. The Momentum Conserver. Now, I have seen some of all of the careers, but I've never seen anyone make it all the way to the top of any of them. Like, I know there are series out there, like I'm watching The English Simmer right now. I'm watching her Let's Play of it. I keep doing hand motions like you guys can see me, but you can't. Um, so, they're pointless. But... I know she did a Let's Play of it, and I'm pretty sure she made it pretty far in all of the careers. I'm not too sure, though. Which, by the way, y'all need to go check her check her out. If you haven't, she is an amazing simmer. I love her so much. She's just fun to watch. She really is. She makes it fun. Like, she really makes the game fun. So let's just call everyone to the meal. Quality is poor. Vegetarian safe. I thought vegetarian just came with the... Oh, do we not have a trash can, by the way? <laughs> I don't think we have a trash can. But I thought vegetarian just came with... What's it called? City living. So no one's going to like this food, but you know what? We made it. By God, they're going to eat it. Yeah, we don't have a trash can. Can I put this in the sink? No, we need a trash can. Fuck. We need two trash cans. But I'm just going to let everyone eat. That's okay. No big deal. Felix will get better at the cooking skill. I want all three of them to be, like, to cook every now and then. But we all know what's going to happen. One Sam is going to be left to do all the cooking. And that's okay. Trash cans. See, an apartment trash chute. What? I I'm going to look at that in a minute. Oh, I need to buy, like, a chess table to get to, so Mira and Mason, I keep forgetting his name, don't get stressed out. Let's buy this white trash can, because it goes with the house, because we need an outdoor and an indoor trash can. There we go, and then, ooh, ooh. Bring the future into your home. Wait, what's this? <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wait, what are these? Oh my god. Okay, bye mailbox. We're getting this one. We're getting this out of this world mailbox. I love it, I love it, I love it. Going with this. 
this greenish black one. Oh my god, I am in love. I should not be this excited about a mailbox, but I am. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> just get this muted gray trash can. We'll put it... I don't like where I can put this. Hold on, is it alt? Oh, that's control. It is alt. There we go. Did that work? Yes. That is a really cute trash can. I like it. But we'll just put it... Actually, no. You know what? We'll put it over here. Because that's just kind of an awkward place for it. And there's really nothing wrong with having it just off in the corner. It looks nicer. It's out of the way. Because no one, we're not using this corner for anything. So, you know, it's, it's cool. All right. There we go. I really want to put like a chair or something over here. Just like in here, but there's no room. Like I said, I wanted to turn this into a reading nook, but there's... For one, it's too small. For two, we don't have the money. But, because I just thought that would be cute as fuck. I might put a little carpet over here, or like a rug. But anyway, now that we have a trash can, we can throw this out. Mason, we have a bookcase. Why can I not throw this out? Why can I not throw this out? Like, goddamn. Are, are you kidding me? Okay. Here, Velix. Come clean this up. Oh, he went to bed. Did he eat? He didn't eat. God damn it, Mason. Grab a serving. Did Mira eat? Yes, she did. Okay. Right, let me put this book up. I already had them claim their beds, by the way. So there's no confusion. Alright, Mira... Go ahead and go to sleep. And then, Mason, once you're done, you can go to sleep too. Let's see, when, Mira starts work first. What time does she go in? Seven hours. Damn, she's not going to get a lot of sleep. That's okay. That's okay. But actually, guys, we are going to save that for the next episode. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I really do. Um, like I said, I figured we could all use a break. And this was a good way to do it. Uh, how many? I'm just going to throw these away. Because they are poor quality. It's a waste of money, but we're not going to... They're, they're not going to be happy eating them. But anyway, you know... It sh this was just supposed to be a nice little distraction from everything that's going on right now. And I feel like it helped me, you know, clear my head and everything. And I hope it helped you. But we'll get through it. We'll be okay. The next episode will be up either today or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, if I'm being 100% honest. Uh, I want to try to get back into the swing of things. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first part of Get to Work. Uh, if you're looking forward to it, let me know. I certainly am. I really hope the rest of you are excited for it. Uh, or as excited for it as I am. It's going to rock. We're going to have a lot of fun. But anyway, guys, uh, if you liked this episode, be sure to drop a like. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, have a good one. See you then.